Fifty. Fifty what? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Pack a Lunch. It's been a little while, we've missed you. With every bullet so far. I'm Steve, this is Rob. Today we've got a couple of guests with us. We have a real chef, Ray Latour. He actually knows how to cook things. I don't, I'm an idiot. We have my son with me, Del. Halto Travelers! Thing he said. And he's going to help us with something we're not sure what yet, but it will happen. Today we're making butter chicken. You said butter. I did say butt hair, didn't I? You said butt hair chicken. I'm fired. So for this episode, primarily, uh, Ray is going to be uh, kind of guiding us because it's his recipe. So we're going to listen to Ray. So Ray, I guess, starts off. All right, well, Steve, I know this is your favorite dish, so... Hopefully I live up to your expectations on the home-cooked version of this restaurant delish. Time will tell on that one, buddy. All right, so basically we have a whole bunch of dried spices and Steve will pop the list up due to the magic of editing. We also have some peppers, your favorite colors, whichever ones you like. We have some onions and we have some non-bread to serve with. Yeah. In other words, top grade anti-vampire weaponry. Yes. The recipe for this is in our tandoori chicken episode, so if you want to know how to make your own naan bread, uh, take a look at that episode. I think it was this season. This naan bread didn't turn out quite as well as last time. Uh, apparently you can't bake when it's raining. I, I can't bake anyway. I didn't know that. Um, I can. Good. Luckily you won't be able to taste the difference at home. No. So first off, we got to make our curry paste. So. I started warming up a pan over here, which I just turned on a few seconds ago while we're out just talking. And I'm actually going to let that get fairly hot. We'll wait till the burner turns red. And, and then we're going to throw our, all our dry spices in there to heat them up, get the oils out of them, and make the apartment smell like fabulous. If they're dry, isn't there already no oils in them anyway? Well, see, no, that's not true, because what happens when you dry with spices, all the water evaporates, the oils turn into solids and they're still there. When you heat them up, they'll liquefy again, and it just brings out a lot of the flavor and the natural aromatics of the spices that you wouldn't normally get from them just being dried and sitting in a bag for two years. That one is turmeric. Oh, we don't need a list. You can get it right through editing. I have to do it right now. Yeah. I don't know, guys, this feels pretty great. I, I can't feel a thing. I got two knives. How many pilgrims are you ready to stab? <laughs> Why pilgrims? I don't know, it's the kingdom of mind. Okay, so that's the paprika I've added. And Once that's... again, that's not pre-measured. That's way more than like two tablespoons. No, that was pretty close. Um, we're gonna go about a tablespoon of the turmeric here. Steve may post my actual, what you should do at home. I may not do anything. <laughs> you can always change the ingredients on the fly as per your taste or your current pantry situations. <laughs> Panties. I said pantry. Oh. I thought you had a panty situation. My bad. Cumin. So that's about a tablespoon there. See people, a real chef cooks like we do. Just throw it down. <laughs> now we need our newly acquired coriander. Why can't my knives cut plastic? Like, this is ridiculous. Uh, about a tablespoon again. So we're just toasting the spices in a pan now. And we're just kind of waiting. I mean, you can't really see this. You're going to smell it more than anything. And once the... Smell it. I can already smell that a little bit now. I can as well. Yeah, that's the stuff. We're just gonna wait till these heat up, and uh, in the meantime, we can uh, peel an onion that we're gonna use as the base of our curry paste. So we're gonna let Rob do that. Just, uh, we're gonna lay that base down. Uh, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna lay <laughs> that. I dropped the, the, the onion base. Yo, DJ. Uh, it's going into a food processor, so it's just a rough chop. Just okay. clean it up. And I'm going to do the same thing to a full clove of garlic here. It's going to be fully cloved? 
I need a shot of rock crying here. I'm not crying, bud. What? No rub, no cry? No. <laughs> Men don't cry. Cut onions. It's pack of lunch. It's what we do. <laughs> we cut onions. I have naps. That's just what happens. Grate some cheese, Steve. What do we got going on? Okay, here? so I've just cut the top and the bottom off of the bulbs of garlic while he was chopping the onion. And now I'm just peeling the skin off by just giving a little crush under my knife. Throwing them over here. Rip the skin, cut the eyes out with my knife. So this is all just going to go into the food processor. You mean you my start digestive loading system? Up, you want to start loading up the onions, so I'll have the garlic ready in a second. I'm confused, is it bread or is it non-bread? It's unbread. Ah. Okay, the stuff they just cut, they're going into the food processor. So this is one medium cooking onion and one olive of garlic and about two tablespoons of ginger. I think you got about two tablespoons. You can use ginger root. You just thought, gotta peel it. I thought we were using a thumb of ginger. Yeah, a thumb well, of ginger. I was just about to say, if you use fresh ginger, this is the equivalent to what's called one thumb of ginger. A desk of pudding. <laughs> <laughs> a wakeboard of celery. Of those things. <laughs> I'm afraid for you sometimes. So, we're just gonna hit the button. Hopefully, this is the end. Two-year warranty if it doesn't. Okay, so now that we got that pulsed up a little bit, we're gonna add our dry, our dry roasted spices to this. While we're pulsing this together into a paste. Um, we haven't added anything into here yet for heat, which most curries typically have a fair amount of heat. It normally calls for a tablespoon or two of cayenne pepper. Me being a pepper aficionado, got something a little hotter and more Indian than cayenne. So right here, I got some dried boot jalokia or ghost chili. Here uh, come the hot pepper, murderer, it's the lyrical gangster. <laughs> the average cayenne pepper is about 50,000 Scovilles. This guy here can cap out at about 1.2 million. I had an uncle that lived in Scoville. So it's a little hotter, so we're going to add this. In you go. Oh, that might have been too much. <laughs> we will kill you. I just added about half a tablespoon of oil just to loosen it up to make it more like a paste because we need a little bit more liquid in here. Mmm, tasty. We're getting there. This is the infamous PEI red dirt I gave to Steve. Ah, uh, yes. So you can also use this paste in other ways, which they've already showed you. We rubbed it all over our muscles in an episode. We already started chopping some peppers and onions for our final cooking. What the heck is that? It's a pepper inside a pepper. <laughs> it's a pepper, 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 pepper inside of it. <laughs> this is one of those Russian dolls thingies. That's so weird. It's like a button. Tiny peppers. It was having a big... We just did a cesarean on this thing. So you can chop your peppers and onions into whatever size you want to go with your chicken. The smaller you cut them, the softer they're going to get while you cook them. And while Rob's chopping that up, I'm going to uh, okay, little eyes the I'm chicken into, uh, I'd say about <laughs> half inch size and cubes. That is one metric so pant load of chicken. You can cut it in half like this. We're using metric, right? I will attempt not to cut off any of my fingers. Do or do not, there is no try. Yeah, so either you're gonna do or do not chop off your fingers. <laughs> don't try to chop off your fingers. Just do it or don't. <laughs> we prefer you don't. Are you absolutely certain about that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to, but since I know you don't want me to.
Okay, good job, Del. So, that's my fault. Here's a real cool trick. If you don't want waste on your pepper, and this is a restaurant trick, because we like to maximize product utility, but you just cut the pepper in half, you can pull the whole core out, and then you can just like remove all this white flesh that turns bitter when you cook it. Get rid of the sticker while we're at it. The sticker is how you know it's new, like when douchebags wear a hat and they don't bend the peak and they leave the sticker on it. Because apparently their hat's brand new every time they're wearing it. <laughs> they buy identical hats every day. So, that's a fast way to chop a pepper. I have to do a lot of editing to make our cuts that fast. Hours of editing. We let our pans heat up a little bit and had a slight oversight, we do need to chop this onion as well. Oh, it's a purple onion. There's an onion? Ah. So we got two pans heating up over here. I thought it was a no-pants party. As far as I can tell, being a chef for many years, this is the butter part of the butter chicken. Now we're going to put half of the vegetables from each pile over each pan. Thanks. Sarcasm. It's the chasm of sar. And in the same moment, we're also going to add half of our chicken in each pan. Just letting the, the, the food simmer. Simmer down. You simmer down. Yeah, Take knock it off. off. What's Nothing. with all the noise? So we're just, uh, start just slowly rice, letting man. these cook. Yeah, we could probably start our rice because uh, we're using minute rice today. You should really have basmati rice for this, but... I don't have basmati. We have minute rice. You have a problem with basmati? I'm not basmatic is what I'm saying. Oh. 15 milliliters of... Instructions are on the box. Follow the instructions on the box. We're not doing... It's on you. the box. Alright, so we're giving... Uh, Giving this stuff another flip. A rice to the finish. More rice, rice jokes. I don't get that one. What? You didn't get that one? No. What are you, racist? Yes. Only white rice. The master rice. So now we're gonna add a generous amount of the curry paste to each pan. You know, the rest you can keep in your freezer if you want to do something with, or, you know, toss that shit on some mussels or make some chicken wings that your friends have never tried before. <coughs> Traditionally, there is no cream in this recipe, but when I'm making this myself, this is my secret ingredient to turn this from, like, just your traditional Indian dish to, like, Something so extraordinary, it's like real. I so like it's like ordinary cream. squared? I yeah. brought some fresh cream. Straight from the bar. Yeah. My personal touch to butter chicken. Just adding a little bit of heavy cream right at the very end, and it turns all that into just like a beautiful curry sauce that just coats the chicken and all your veggies. When before it looked like that, just kind of like greasy and spicy, but yeah, but then a little bit of cream. Couple of magic tosses to the pan, and you got a beautiful sauce going with that. So that's your butter chicken. Now you just gotta serve it on a bed of rice with some naan bread, rose petals, 
and soft music. Smooth jazz. And just because I have to be the first, I'm going to try this. Need a plate. That is better than butter. Better chicken? Should we rename it? The rice is going to be like three seconds. Second rice. Uh, my esteemed colleagues over here. There you go, that's some butter chicken. Pack a lunch. This is apparently butter chicken. Apparently. So an apocalypse spell. I'll do that again. <laughs> Leave your pants on, though. This is butter chicken. Pack. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you my way down today. Let me, let me tell you what it's down today. I have like 26 cars. This is Del Fudge reminding you to pack all of the lunches. Hey, guys, hey, guys. Hey, that's my job, I know. Three idiots and one chef. That's who we're cooking for today. I just spent four million dollars on all these cars that I heard a lot of people think are really cool. And so I should be cool because I own these cars that a lot of people own. Yeah. That's my Jay Leno impression. Do you have a Jay Leno impression? <laughs> Who's Jay Leno? Oh, it's rice. Why am I filming this? <laughs>